really. All right, all right. How's it going, everybody? And welcome to another episode of Ark Survival Ascended with Darby Topknot on the Ark and Art SMP server. Happy to have you here. And so today we want to possibly go and find out if we can get an RG. But first things first, we have to go check on our dinos and um, we have to also go get our raft. Uh, so if you saw the last episode, you'll understand why. So uh, thanks for joining us and let's get right into it. Okay, everybody, so we are back on the island and you'll notice a little change. We're missing some things in our house here. Um, so everything looks normal out here. Um, but out here, everything's gone. How could this have happened? Uh, well, I'll show you. Um, we've been quite busy since the last episode. You uh, remember that we did get a... Um... <laughs> I guess we should go get some water, probably. Uh, we did get a Dodicarus, finally. And so now, with the Dodicarus and the beaver, we have easy access to not just wood, but stone. And looks like we need to get some food. And so we have been gathering up tons and tons of resources and beginning the real build here. Uh, you know, uh, we've mentioned in the past that we're going to actually... Hello, guys. Everybody's here. Um, including somebody that you guys probably haven't seen yet. Uh, we do have a new Pteranodon as well. But let me go ahead and grab some stuff real quick. For this episode, though... I think that we need to uh, go and pick up our raft, and I have an idea on how we can do that. We left it as we went over and um, had our incident with the Dodicarus, and uh, we also want to go and look for an Archie because I do need an Anki, and that's not happening <laughs> the way that we did the Dodicarus. <laughs> I need something that can actually pick it up and, and grab it. So uh, we're going to go and get on with that today, but first off, let me show you around a little bit. Um, this is our new guy. Uh, his name is currently Pteranodon. Um, but uh, he was a 130 and sitting like literally right over there. And so as I was <laughs> gathering up resources, I just knocked him out, tamed him. And um, so now we have a backup. Uh, so when I go and inevitably get stuck someplace with Terry... Uh, then I can just respawn back here and take um, this new Pteranodon over. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at what we have going on here. So two different places. Uh, one is the um, living quarters, and you can see that that's the part with the roof. And that's obviously going to be a couple stories higher. And then the other is dino storage and um, the workshop and all this stuff. So this is going to be uh, the first thing we build in our village. And um, this will be one story, except that this is going to extend all the way across, I think, and be a bigger place up there. And so we'll be able to have some things in there and build some more interesting um, slopes on the roofs and stuff like that. But I've been able to get all this together and um, it, it was, you know, basically a million times faster because we have the good resource gatherers now. I've never built in this version of Arc before and I'm not somebody who used Structures Plus or anything like that. So I am learning. And uh, so hopefully you guys will have advice and... Um, you know, different ideas because this will be simply the first building that we have here. And there will be, um, I know some of the other things that I want to make and uh, I won't talk about them right now. I'd love to hear your ideas, but think of like a medieval type village, anything that you would need in that town, uh, it's going to be here. And so we'll have some here. We'll have some over on the other side out there. I'm going to have uh, some stuff in the grotto. I'm not sure what I'm going to put there. Uh, but then we'll have other buildings and stuff over here and uh, we need a bridge going across 
the inlet there. And so, um, yeah, that's, uh, that's what we're looking at right now. So we're going to have just some normal stuff in here, probably living um, room up or a bedroom up here, just a little part of this. And this will go all the way across. And um, yeah, so I'm going to have windows in here and all of that stuff. Eventually, we'll move the bed up here and eventually this will be taken down, but not right now. Um, other things down here i did put some secret walls in which is a cool addition i'm gonna have like the generator and stuff like that down here so anything that we want to have out of the way and over here we'll have the machinery and things for right now we just have storage but um yeah i think this would be pretty cool and so let's go ahead and we will begin naming up some of our dudes and then we will get on with trying to yeah go get our raft which is right in the worst part of the map um so thank you for hopping on and oh while we're here thank you for everybody who has taken the time to view the videos and leave a comment and um has subscribed we really appreciate you guys and uh yeah awesome all right so let's name up some guys here and the first one um, Bessie, so thank you, Sabrina, for that suggestion. Bidoof. And that was suggested by uh, Domzilla. So uh, Domzilla is a fellow um, burgeoning YouTuber like uh, I am who lives on this server as well, right over there, quite a ways away, um, but uh, does awesome content. So I, I would recommend that you... Um, go and uh, give a visit to his page and watch some of his videos. They're really, really entertaining stuff. Mickey, um, of course, all beavers have to be, uh, have to have Canadian names. Mickey is a common name in Canada. I actually lived there for a while and that was suggested by Anne. So thank you very much for that suggestion. And then the last guy we need to get to is this little dude right here, our hero. And uh, we said that we needed a triumphant name, so Triumph. I think that's fitting. And uh, so we'll go ahead and pick up Triumph and take him with us as we as we go down here. And um, so yeah, thanks again, everybody, for all the suggestions. Please keep them coming because um, we have a dodo here who doesn't have a name yet. And uh, so this dodo, actually, if you're wondering holds all of our um, extra interesting stuff, saddles and all that stuff for now. So uh, an appropriate name would be much, much appreciated. I know that uh, they would they would like that as well. All right, so um, we are currently flying <laughs> way out to sea in an attempt to avoid the rhino that's taken up residence there. Hopefully it's still over there um, or dead. Either one of those would be good. I just don't want to get caught by it. Um, and oh, that's that's a, a memory there. I remember that um, because Butterman and I had our first base right there. And it looks like that thing is in there. Um, and every time this little white drop would go off we had run out there on uh survival evolved but if you guys remember um yeah i think we're fine now uh we have a raft over here that we had to abandon when we were running back to get the dodic and to save terry so um that was a a really difficult thing and wow of course, there is a source. Is that an alpha raptor? Yes, it is. Uh-huh. Okay, let's go ahead and we're going to park here for a minute. Get some stamina back. So, that raft over there is ours. And we need to get it back. So, my plan is to go over there, repair it, and pick it up if that's possible. Um, if not, it's to go over there, try to repair it, fail, and then run away. 
So uh, we'll, we'll see which one of those it ends up being. Because over here, you have Therizinosaurus, you have Mini Troodon, you have um, Raptors, and there's that Alpha Raptor, so hopefully he stays over here. And all sorts of stuff that um, wants to knock us out and kill us. So anyway, uh, we will not know until we try. So let's go ahead and give this a try. All right, so let's see, there's one Alpha two alphas. Yep, there are two of them. And uh, what all is around here? I mean, I see Trodon over there. They're super aggressive. Oh, there's one right there too. Uh, those must have been the ones that took a ride on my raft the last time. Maybe they decided it's their raft and uh, we need to leave them alone. Um, I don't know. What do you think, Terry? Yeah, I kind of agree. Uh, this is probably a mistake, but <laughs> let's go ahead and give it a try. Let's just land here for a second. Oh, yeah. See them targeting? No, thank you. Oh, and we are stuck. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. Get him. And we're. Oh, there he is. Come back here, coward. Actually, don't come back here. This is, this is not good. Um, let's see, can I, uh, how do you repair? Drive, repair. Okay. Now, can I pick it up at all? I can demolish it. That's the move. Um, dude, seriously? <laughs> Ark, fix your game, man. <laughs> fix your game. Um, I am not doing this, by the way. That walking forward? Not me. Uh, let's see. If we do that. Let me just take a quick look around. And... <laughs> uh, this reminds me of the early access um, time of this... its predecessor. Is this maybe not here? Maybe it's not here. Yeah, I think it's not there. So let's go ahead and fly up here and maybe if I maybe if I go away from it and then come load back in alright so we have logged out and logged back in and I just want to go and see because I don't want to leave a raft just hanging out um, and cluttering up the server what is that okay cool there's that alpha. Man, it's so tempting to try to kill that alpha. But it looks like the raft is gone. Okay, cool. Um, so that's a good thing. Uh, being a good server, <laughs> a good server mate here. Uh, so that's that's fantastic. Uh, now that we have that cleaned up, we're gonna have to make another raft. Um, it, frankly, we might use a raft. Uh, what I'll probably do is, I really want that right there. I'll probably um, fly up north, see what we have there. If there are any RGs like on the coast or something that, you know, maybe over in the mosh pit. Okay, everybody, we just picked up um, a another blue drop or purple drop. I couldn't tell. Uh, right down there. And check out what we got. Water tank. A bear trap. A ton of metal. A bunch of gunpowder. An even better sickle. 
artifact pedestal and the uh, toilet. So um, I think we need to fly back home and um, get this stuff back there as soon as we can because uh, our dude's a little overburdened here. So uh, we will figure out how to do that and um, then we will see you going north. We weren't able to find the baby. You know, I was just thinking, wouldn't it be kind of funny? And I really want that drop, by the way. Um, if the rhino is gone, or somebody killed it, or something of that sort, and nobody ever knew. And so this just became a no-go zone for no reason throughout the entire series. It'd be hilarious. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, let's try and get this stuff back. Okay, everyone, so here we are. Um, there is a 125 RG over there, but you notice a pack of Allosaurus and a Rex and all of that. They're not... There's a... I think like a 15... No, a 5 Allo, a 60, and a 70. And the Rex isn't very high, but I'm on a Pteranodon. So, man, if I could get that 125 to come after me, I wonder if I could tame it. And I think that guy's a 45. I went up a little bit farther, but um, didn't see anything interesting up there. Everything was pretty low level. Uh, I am running out of water, though. So we should come over here where it's maybe safe. And get some water. Let's see. How are you doing, man? Okay. Let's dump this on you. So 125 is there. Is it is it stupid to try to do this? I mean, I'm gonna shoot that Rex. I think I hit the Rex. That, I believe, just hit the bird. Okay, so now they're both chasing me. <laughs> Why does this always happen, man? Oh. Uh, I can't get away with anything. <laughs> let's, let's see if I can do this again. I just... That Rex will 100% kill that bird. Uh, actually, maybe it won't. Maybe it needs help. Oop, <laughs> they saw me. Can I pull him out into the water? Oh, cool. He's fighting that dude now. Okay. That, that turtle's gonna kill him. But the bird is so messed up. Oh, but he'll eat the Rex. Yeah, let's, let's go ahead and park over here. I'm gonna get off. I'm gonna help kill that Rex. Okay, now, heal yourself up, bro. Okay, uh, <laughs> I'm acting like I have the firepower to, um, take this dude out. Okay, peace out. Let's take him someplace, ooh, he's so fast. We'll take him someplace safe. No, 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 you come back. Follow me. He's not doing it. Okay. So we have to encourage him a little bit more. 
Yes, I know I'm doing this without a taming pin or a trap. But, uh, I never really used traps. Peace out, bro. Okay, let's try to do this again. running. Nope, 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 nope. Don't go away, dude. Yeah, this is what they do sometimes, is they get into this flight mode. Come on, go down. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Um, hey, buddy. Yeah, sorry about that. Let's see, is there any meat around here? Where is he? We will um, do our best to tame this guy up and bring you back if anything happens or uh, when we actually tame it up. Oh, this would be so cool. Okay, so we flew back over and took out that level 45 RG and got a little bit of prime meat that we can use here. Uh, let's just make sure nothing's coming through here. You watch, man. The raptors will show up. Okay, let's dump that all over there. You know what? I'm going to actually take this and give it to this guy here. So this is what we used to call the mosh pit. It looks very different now. Um, but there are always things over here fighting. So, let's see. Level 10. Yeah, these Allosaurus are just going to continue to kill everything because they heal up whenever they eat something too. And they have that pack bonus and um, really, really dangerous guys. But uh, it would be so you'd come over here and all this stuff wasn't in the way. Oh. Oh, cool. That really helped. Maybe I need to get another bit of prime meat. Because that really... That's going to cut the time down so much. What do you think, Terry? Can you take on three Allosaurus? Yeah. Me either. Yep. <laughs> okay, these Allosaurus have started to attack that turtle. 
he got a little bit too close. Um, normally I'd root for the turtle, but I just, yeah. I just don't think he has a chance. However, we should be getting this guy any time now. Um, yeah, let's... I think I'm actually going to fly over there. And right on the other side here are scorpions and saber tooth. Um, as well as argies and stuff, but the scorpions and the saber tooth, they're... They're the bad ones. The scorpions sneak up and the saber teeth are so fast. So we just want to keep him safe from there until he, he, she tames up. And do we have any male creatures? I think maybe one. But uh, this is definitely a gift right here. So we're getting so close. Look at the food. 6358 out of 6400 so it should be any second that we get this tame and uh, the taming effectiveness is 98.4 so 61 levels that's amazing um, considering the circumstances <laughs> oh no okay so it has to eat one more time so just one more bite come on then we get our RG. This is what we've been wanting. I didn't think it would be possible out here, uh, but we got really lucky um, that we were able to find one like this. I would, I would have taken that 45, but that we were able to find one like this out here on the edge instead of having to like go and search through the mountains and everything like usual. But any second now, any second. Okay, so just needs one more decrease of... How's it going, Dodo? Uh, one more decrease in food, and that will be it. Because I think it's... There we go! Yeah! All right! <laughs> hey, how you doing? How's it going? Uh, level 186. Welcome to the family. Glad to have you aboard. We're going to be amazing friends. Oh, look at that. Cool. Let's get you out of here. And... Um, then we will take a proper look once we get all the way back home, back to base. We will take a proper look at this. Oh, and look, there comes another one right out of the woodwork, right on cue. Sweet. Okay. Let's see. I don't think you can stay with us, but uh, we will take as much time as it takes. But um, amazing. Yep. So we'll we'll see you in just a few minutes back at uh, back at camp. Sweet. Uh, you need a saddle. Don't you think? Look at that. Man, the model for the RG is really good. It looks like there's kind of a soft blue on top of your cranium. Is that true? Sweet. Um, let me go and see. I, I suspect we don't have enough hide at the least to make this. Uh... Oh, you know what I should probably do is we want you to... Yeah, you have enough meat. Uh, so let's take a look at some stats. 3358 on health. Not bad. Okay, that's pretty good stamina for a beginner. Weight 600, that's kind of average. And melee 278, I think that's kind of average too. But uh, she was a 125 wild. And um, I think this is an excellent beginning um we will use her for getting some tames and then kind of decide how we want to focus whether she's just going to be a utility bird so good at everything or a battle rg or a weight bird and we'll see you know it just occurred to me you know what has a ton of chitin probably The Rhino. <laughs> uh, oh, it's so tempting. I mean, Terry has been able to take out so many things. It's so tempting to go after that Rhino. If I had ever fought one on Survival Evolved, 
then I would have a better idea of what they're actually like, but I didn't. So uh, we won't be doing that. So no, no need to worry, Terry. All right, so this is about the scariest thing in the world. Middle of the night, a place I've never been. Something's coming down. Hopefully it's good. It looks purple. Maybe it's blue. With this guy walking around making thooming sounds. And... Is that an obvious? Oh. If that is a sheep, then I know what we're going to do with our RG. Alright, so... We have more than enough stuff to go ahead and make... The RG saddle. And this, uh, the world changes as soon as we get this in our mitts. Um, because uh, these creatures are probably the most useful things in the entire game. They can pick things up. They're relatively strong. They're, you know, relatively good fighters and all of those things. So let's go ahead and dump all this stuff here. And we'll just do that for now. And then we will go out, put this on our new dude, and then go grab some stuff. How's it going? Let's see it there. And so for now, I want this up to 5,000. I know that weight is really the thing, but let's see. Let's see what we've got here. Look at her. Amazing. Yep, that is blue coloring through there. You look like a fearsome creature that no one would ever want to mess with. So let's go take that out for a test drive. There's one there, and there was a drop over here. Looks like there's another drop. Um, they are slower than the Pteranodon, but they have tons and tons of stamina, usually. Yeah, awesome. So you can pretty much sprint anywhere. Um, not across the whole island, unless you have like a very special bird, but uh, one of the cool things is you don't have to be as cautious um, or afraid because these guys can fight. And um, yeah, I think we're going to be trying that out today. But look at this. Amazing. Amazing creature. What do you have to say for yourself? We're going to need a name. So uh, please, in the comments, drop a name for this uh, this new bird of ours. We will be <laughs> becoming very, very good friends. Let's see. Let's see if we can distract a little bit. No? I could get a kill. So 208 damage. That's not bad to begin with. Alright, come here. Is this our first alpha fight? I think it is. One of the cool things about being on here is if it ever gets to the point where I'm scared for my bird, I can just fly away. At least usually. Um, I do think that some of the... Um, what's that? Oh, that's a Thursdaynosaurus, isn't it? I do think that some of the models are a little bit flawed right now. They get... Dinos get stuck into each other pretty easily. And I'm just gathering up some stamina before we go finish this fight. Okay, cool. And so... Hopefully they work that out in the near future. There. Yeah, it's over for you, buddy. Cool. So let's see what we got. Eight levels. Um, oh, a good pick. Don't care about that. A good crossbow. And here is the Alpha Raptor Claw. 
And let's go ahead and I want to push this up to 5,000. And then I think we'll be fine for now. And uh, from here, weight and stamina probably. All right, everybody. So here we go. We have this beautiful Argentavis and uh, she needs a name. So if you have names, please put it in the comments. And, um, you know, you see that she has a much higher power level than Terry that we've been flying around on. But uh, they both have their their usefulness and uh, Terry's much faster. This bird is more powerful. And so we're going to be able to do things a little bit more quickly from here on out. Uh, you can see that our resource dinos have already helped us in building up the first building of the village. And, uh, you know, so if you have ideas on what we should add coming up, um, this will be the home and the workshop here and dino storage. Obviously, we're going to have more dino storage as we move on. But um, if you have ideas for what else to put around here and on the other side and um, especially over there in the grotto there, then uh, please drop it in the comments. A wonderful name for this bird would be greatly appreciated. Um, she's going to be around for a long time and uh, you know you always look at your first RG and, and feel great about having them around even at the end of the game. Um, but uh, for now this is Darby Topknot on the Arcanart server. I want to say thank you for joining us. Please like, subscribe, all that youtube -y stuff and uh, we look forward to seeing you in the next episode and um, yeah bye for now.